welcome back to Glamour Has No Age. Um, what you're looking at right now is a haul I did. This was last month. Or it's a, it's a combination of things. Stuff from Sephora, stuff from Pat McGrath's website, stuff from Charlotte Tilbury. I have a real shopping addiction problem. I have a feeling that come January, this slow buy thing isn't working for me. I have a feeling that come January, I'm going to have to go on a no buy. Um, I mean, it's bad. I do eight videos a month, Saturday and Sunday. Um, so let me show you what I bought. I went to Beauty Bay, got the 16 color palette for $20. This is rich, rich. Um, I have other Beauty Bay palettes that I have not used. Yes, I have not used them. That's a bum deal. Um, I haven't been, I'm going to be honest. I haven't been wearing makeup during the week when I work. Um, I work out of my home and that's not the issue. The issue is that I tend to touch my eyes and it ends up in my eyes and bothering you. I know. I picked this up when it first came out. You can get this for $26. Uh, the Cosmic Crush by Too Faced um, on their website. It looks like this. I know. I think I may do a video of all the makeup that I bought that I never used on camera. What would you think of them? Let me know in the comments down below. Oh, and by the way, um, I don't get paid through doing YouTube. Not even at a thousand count subscriber. I'm very grateful for the people that I do have. It's just I'm buying like this is a business and um, I'm, I'm making no money off of this. I don't have links. I have nothing. Um, Love's Journey. I picked this up off of uh, Sydney Grace. It's a beautiful palette. It's all vegan. It looks like this. It's neutral. You know how many neutral palettes I have? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. You've seen this already. I've used it. I've used it once. It's the Natasha Denona I Need a New Palette. As a matter of fact, since I've done that shop my stash, I have not worn any of that makeup. It looks like this. It looks like that. Pat McGrath. I bought this one. This is the eyeshadow Subline Smoke. I have used this one. I do like it. I just have so much makeup that it puts me off on what I should use and what I shouldn't use. I do like the quality of it. I haven't used this one, Midnight Voyage. It looks like this. I'm sure the quality is just as good as the other one. This is this is why I like them. 
These palettes are made in Italy. Some more Sydney Grace that I picked up. Heaven on Earth. Looks like that. And then I have Unbreakable Blonde. Looks like that. Looks like this. Then I have the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3. I know, wasn't gonna pick this up. It was between this and Danessa Myrex. I figured the powders would last me longer. Outside packaging looks like this. And the color story looks like that. Then, I have this Dior Backstage Eye Palette. This is, what does this say? Silver Essentials. Looks like this. Um, there's nothing mad on the back of this. <laughs> this will not be a standalone palette for me. Then, I picked up an hourglass pa uh, palette. I picked up the Leopard. And it looks like this. This came for Sephora, so this isn't modified as to what interior I have. Hmm. I picked up the mini sultry looks like this I don't have the big sultry I had it when it first came out and then I decluttered it very neutral palette looks like that I mean, how can you pick up one and not the other? I'm trying to be sarcastic. And it looks like that. Graph Labs. This is the Eyelash Shadow Quad and Passion Fleur. 
it's one of the newer ones. Looks like this. As a matter of fact, I think I will do a video of all the palettes that I bought that I haven't tried yet. I bought this Too Faced Holiday palette. Um, I normally pick at least one of these up each year. As a matter of fact, I have the one from last year that I have not even used. Pretty color story. A very neutral leaning with purples. I like that. I bought the Anastasia Sun Idol. This is the highlight she just came out with. Looks like that. I'm hoping it looks good on my skin tone because I'm fairly light, sometimes light medium. It depends on the time of year. I also picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fall Romance Palette. I love the packaging on this. And this looks like deep color. I think I need to whittle down who I'm watching because I'm watching, um, big makeup people who get the stuff sent to them. They're not buying it. It gets sent to them. I picked up the Urban Decay Metal Mania. It looks like this. It's a pretty color story. I mean, it's pretty neutral for the most part and um, there is a couple of pops of color, but the color isn't too crazy like, so I want to try that out. Plus they say the formula has improved. I have the Anastasia Com Cosmos. I have to be careful. One came broken and then the second one came broken. So this is a delicate formula. It looks like that. You can tell the blue's slightly cracked. This I picked up when it launched. The Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. It looks like this. I have not used it. You know? And I love Natasha Denona, but I have palettes. 
sitting here waiting to be used. I have the Natasha Girona Yucca palette. Looks like that. Haven't used it. I'm gonna have to start prioritizing what I use. Um, if you see something and you're curious as to what it looks like on a mature woman, let me down, know down below and I will make that video first. From Sephora, I picked up The Future Is Yours. Why? I don't know why. Because I was curious about their formula. Now this palette, it's got nice packaging. This palette was made in China. It's a tin packaging. Again, a neutral palette. Obviously, it won't perform as well as a Natasha Genona or a Pat McGrath. Natasha Genona Retro. Picked this up when it first launched. Haven't used it. Love the packaging. Love the quote color story. Just have not used it. You know? things from Sephora. This is the Gleam palette. It's a trio face palette. So it's blush, Alright, so it's blush and two highlighting shades. You know how many palettes of these I have? I have Pat McGrath's from last year. This is a pink. The packaging is plastic and two highlighters. I'm not sure that these highlighters they may be too deep for me, but we'll see. Where are these made? These are made in China. This is the one in Dare. This 
supposed to be a blush and two highlighters. Well, this highlighter I'll have to use as a blush. Another Sephora collection face palette in Radiate. Again, I use my own money for the stuff. It looks like this. The main reason I don't normally do hauls I don't want to show people some people can't afford to buy I'm trying to shame myself I picked this up off the Pat McGrath website um, an eyeshadow palette Iconic Infatuation is what I got. It looks like this. Then I picked up the Natasha Denona Glam Face, but this is the dark version. It went on sale. I'm not going to be able to use that highlighter. I'm obsessed with Natasha Denona. This is one of my holiday orders from Pat McGrath. They gave me a free highlight in Golden Moonlight. Hopefully I can use it. I got a blush palette because why not? The bronzer, it's a bronzer blush and highlight. This is made in Italy. That's why I picked up her collection. I love her stuff that's made in Italy. That's honey, honey bronze. And the blush I don't have, that's Naked Peony. And the highlight is Opal Allure. Looks like that. Then I picked up with this one. Bijou Brilliant Starstruck Splendor. I picked up one of the big ones. It looks like this. Now, May, again, made in Italy. 
Um, this blush I already have. This one I don't. I picked up a mothership. Hmm. What is this? I don't know if it's mothership. Sunlit seduction. Sorry, I'm not good at reading Roman numerals. It's the pink one everyone had a conniption about. I'm not bothered. I like pink. It, it looks like this. I picked up the Natasha Denona Mini Trio Chrome. Trio Chrome. Um, hopefully, I like this. The Beautyverse palette. This is the Christmas palette. Charlotte Tilbury had to run and get it. Packaging is beautiful. This formula is made in Italy. It looks like this. And of course, I had to pick up the blush. I have all of Charlotte Tilbury's powder blushes, by the way. This is... Hollywood Blush and Glow Glow Glide Palette. This is the Fair Medium Blush in the Highlight. Because you gotta get that to go along with it. Pat McGrath Labs. Um, this is bronzed ecstasy. Had to have it. Made in Italy. I don't know how that's gonna look on me. I'm very fair skinned. Again. Had to have it. Also picked up what is this one? Bordeaux Bliss. Again, very deep. Don't know how this is gonna look on me. I'm very fair skinned. I think the colors are beautiful though. We'll see. Made in Italy, had to have it. I picked up a Dior Glow Face Palette, the Illuminating Face Palette, and Universal.
looks like this. Had to have it. This I didn't pay a full price for. I picked this up off a of boxy charm. It's the Brow Genius Brow Serum. I think I paid 25. These babies go for $68 on Sephora for a product like that from them. I have the By Terry VIP Expert palette. Yep, I had to have that. Christmas edition. Again, made in Italy. Oh, look at the packaging. It's beautiful. Beautiful packaging. And inside the palette looks like this. Made in Italy again, had to have it. <laughs> That's all I have time for today. Um, I won't be editing down any of this. I think I did a pretty good job with not too long pauses. I'll put background music in so you're not too bored. Um, that's it. I need to uh, go on a no buy. Um, this is an addiction. Uh, it's an addiction. I also bought stuff from the Sephora sale. Can't wait till those boxes arrive. Well, anyways, thank you for sticking around. If you made it this far, you're a star. Um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. If you want to see something, we do a video on it first and you want to see it on Mature Woman, let me know in the comments section what you want to see. And I'll pop that video up first. Have a great evening. Bye.